Everyone please man coming at ya. Should be a very quick video. I just wanted to document this moment uh, where I am moving from Mobile Checks to uh, the new company I'm working for, Unifor, which focuses on conversational AI. I'll talk a little bit more about the transition as we go throughout this video, but my hope with this video is really just to mostly talk about my thought process when it came to looking for a new job. And the hope is that if you are looking to switch places and try something new, that this video can kind of act as an encouraging point, especially if you're part of the great resignation movement that's going on although I don't think my story necessarily falls in that category it can kind of give you something to chew on and think about so really quick as an update I am no longer working at mobile edgex and actually the company has been dissolved as it has been acquired by Google and as a result the entire platform and ecosystem has been open sourced so let me pull that up here this is just a organization that I created and forked out all of these repos. I think the thing that's relevant mostly to folks on this channel is that at Mobile Ajax, we kind of built out this multiplayer solution. So you have a client, you have a server, and you can use that within Unity to build out a multiplayer game and kind of scale that as you need to. That's completely open sourced. I mean, it has been for a while, but I think it's more relevant to highlight that now. In addition, of course, the whole platform itself has gone ahead and been open sourced here. You can kind of take a look at all of this, including some of the documentation. I think it's just really awesome that all of this got open sourced as part of this acquisition here. There's a lot Lot of really awesome work really awesome team that I got to work with at mobile edgex and I am definitely gonna miss it a ton because it was a really incredible learning opportunity the acquisition happened I didn't have the option to move to Google so through kind of my my searching process I ended up at my new company Unifor which is a company focused on conversational AI I've talked and after I've kind of announced this to folks I've talked with several different people and I think it's interesting to hear different people's perspectives on when you first tell them at, at a first glance that you're moving into a conversational AI field which is very different from the VR AR field, very different from the Web3 field, very different from even the Telco 5G edge computing field that I was just in, although we, we did look at a lot of AI use cases, uh, to this conversational AI piece. More than the conversational AI, I will say, the thing that drew me to this company, this team, was the opportunity and I think the incredible energy behind the team, more so than anything about technology. Although, of course, technology does play a key role. It's not like I'm going to switch to a completely different vertical, like healthcare, for example, all of a sudden, and where I don't even have any skill set, right? But for me, I think it was always team first and then the kind of technology behind it second, while at the same time recognizing that, of course, AI, I think, is a big puzzle piece when it comes to actually the metaverse concept as a whole, right? There's naturally going to be an AI component when people are talking, when people are communicating, when you are interacting with worlds. I'm betting on the fact that you're going to have AI and hopefully more dynamic AI that can respond to to the real world if you're an augmented reality or virtual worlds that are kind of pre-crafted by developers. In both cases, you still want dynamic AI that can kind of, to some degree, interact with you and kind of provide an enriching experience. So that those two things together are ultimately what drew me towards the Unifor opportunity. Yeah, I could have moved into a VR company. I could have moved into a Web3 company. I could have moved into a different telco or 5G startup that, that there are plenty of those out there. But I did want something different and something that I felt was complementary and do definitely admit that I completely had the luxury of choosing, which I feel so unbelievably blessed to have worked and put myself into that type of a position where you can choose and make that type of decision. Because I think it is not kind of a given that everyone has that opportunity. And it, I think that's from a career perspective, I think that's ultimately how you kind of want to move yourself forward is putting yourself in the position where you can kind of pick and choose based on the opportunities and how, how they're presented as opposed to being stuck to a, a vertical like VR or Web3 or AI even. I felt like 
especially because all of this is emerging technology. When I was first kind of looking for to get my, my foot in the door with some companies, VR felt like it was a niche that I was kind of trapped in. And I think with mobile EdgeX, I've really had the opportunity to expand outside of that niche and touch a wide range of fields and subjects that I never really would have been before. For me, that's incredibly valuable. But I think for everyone, if you're making career decisions and and trying to decide what you want to do, you need to kind of figure out what, what excites you the most. And if it's getting really deep into a field, you should do that. If it's being able to experience a breadth of, of technologies, which is what really gets me excited, then you need to be able to put yourself in that, into that position. And I think that's, it is a challenge, but ultimately kind of comes down to finding the right team that really complements you and will, will help you succeed. That's how I would summarize what I'm looking forward to at Unifor. I can't talk much more about it other than those specifics. Quite frankly, the, the more I dive into the role, and it, it's really early, but literally I'm recording this after just one week working there, the more I uncover so much synergy with other technologies. And at the end of the day, that's really kind of what drives me to in, to some capacity. I mean, if you look at our, our new Fuse VR logo, it's that, it's that fusion of all of this technology that really drives me. And so in that regard, I'm really excited to learn a lot more about conversation conversational AI, how it meshes in with all of this other upcoming technology and how that pushes the metaverse forward, how that pushes Web3 forward, how that pushes all of these different topics that we touch on in the channel forward. Well, still recognizing I'm not going to be leaving any of those topics behind when it comes to the channel and the, the upcoming content. It's still going to have a focus around Web3. It's still going to have a focus around cloud streaming, cloud rendering, because those are still technologies that I strongly believe in. AI is just kind of that additional puzzle piece that's been added into the equation. I think we'll at some point, maybe not now, maybe a year from now, eventually influence how this channel morphs and evolves. Because at the end of the day, I think this channel has really kind of evolved into documenting my journey and my learnings and hopefully enabling you to learn from my learnings. Kind of a weird way of phrasing it, but hopefully that makes sense. So I think I'll wrap that up here for now. And I just kind of wanted to share some of the announcements that are associated with that and provide just kind of my, my rationale, reasoning. Hopefully that helps at least one person out there who might be looking into making them jump. It's an interesting time, nonetheless, with the, this kind of whole great resignation movement that we see kind of happening at the macro to do that. And I think tech and all of the emerging aspects of it are interesting. So let me leave that there for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. It's been Fuse, man. And I'm signing out.